All right, hey guys, Kensho here. So I'm pretty sure you guys are trying to figure out how the hell do I get my 2100 gear score. I wanna be able to run hard moon dungeon so I can get the gear and actually progress throughout the game. I'm stuck. I keep running I keep running other runs and not getting crap and this is really annoying, it's really aggravating. Well, I have some news for you, some good news. So first, I'm pretty sure you've probably been spamming Tronics Bunker or spamming your Hello 50 dungeons. Catven, don't do that, it's a waste of time. If you get lucky, you get lucky, but hey, you're going to be spending a lot of time in that really annoying dungeon. Now, for Tronics Bunker, you're going to want to spam it, try to get your accessories, and that's the main thing you just think of right now. Just getting your accessories, because it's a way of actually getting that gear score to 2100 a lot simpler than you think. So, here, you know, you see, um, I have, already have the cape, the low 50 cape, low 50 necklace, ring, and belt. And... Getting those through the fragments of the different dungeons. I had to run Vire, and then I had to run Tronics Bunker. I'm able to get all, all these uh, accessories, right? Good. That's step one. Now, I step two one day. is a little bit of a secret, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people know by now. If you don't, well, that's why you're watching this video. For some reason, in Maple Story 2, you're able to wear any weapon equip in the game. Doesn't matter what class you are. Now, how does that help us? Well, let me show you. Right now, my gear score is 15, 18. I'm wearing two daggers because I'm a thief. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two different main hand weapons from two different classes and put those on instead. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a longsword, level 50 longsword. For right here, there we go. Level 50 longsword. Oh, sold out. New mail has arrived. All right. And then let me go ahead and grab a throwing star. Right here, throwing star. Boom. New mail has okay. arrived. So now, watch carefully. You'll see some magic. Okay. Now, I'm going ahead and put this on. Boom. Already 1803. Okay. So for me, for my own, for my own case, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have actually needed to buy the shuriken because my dagger counts as a main hand already. So now it just launched me to 1803, ridiculous. So now it just launched me to 1803, and high ridiculous gear score. It makes no sense, right? Well, that's just how it works. Don't know why, but hey, take advantage of it before they fix it. Now, what? my main goal is to try to get to 2100 so what i'll do is i'll just start enhancing things if i need to and then i'll just spam tronics bunker keep spamming tronics bunker if um this right here this iris charm seems to drop pretty commonly so if you can get it and sell it in the market well take that five mil and just come right here over to to epic equips for armor and just buy yourself where is it not the gloves you gotta buy yourself the helmet so you can buy either this one or this one doesn't matter still 241 gear score as, as long as you get one purple piece getting to 2100 is super easy if not you're gonna have to dump in a lot of onyx still you have to dump in a lot of onyx and a lot of mesos to try to pump all, all your blue gear up to 2100 it's doable but it's expensive but this this method I would say is the most efficient and quickest way to actually get into 2100. All right, now here's a little example of what you look like once you get at least one piece of purple gear. Yeah, the earring is still missing there. It's just a little bit too much of a hassle to just going went to Atronics and grab one because of the fact that I no longer have any more dungeon runs. But yeah, you having one piece of purple gear and then doing exactly what I just said will pretty much push you to that 2100 mark you, even without the purple gear you can still um, push up there like I said but it will be a little bit more expensive but you just take whatever you can get honestly now I'll just go ahead and show you all Tron why Tronics Bunker is actually the more efficient and faster dungeon to run I know you want those cat van wings but ultimately they won't really be that important later on throughout the game all right, let's just do this. Okay, so this is why Tronics is actually the more 
efficient and faster dungeon to do you just pretty much just run on through and you can skip all the mobs in here all you gotta do is just fight the mini boss and the main boss now with the mini boss is there's these batteries that's laying around okay i guess that's how you walk through portals there's these batteries that are laying around and with those batteries as if you throw them at the mini bosses they um they take huge chunks of damage so unfortunately one of us isn't exactly on that memo so it won't be as much damage as we want but they still do a nice chunk you see that that's from all of us just taking batteries and tossing them now this boss here that's the main boss we're going to be fighting later on in the next map he's also going to open up this corner here and there's going to be another battery that you can actually get access to so you can go ahead and grab that and just continue fighting these guys that's one dead I oh, gotta just keep going through with it. Alright. Let's get further in here. Now, this boss isn't too much trouble. It's just a few cues that are pretty obvious that you need to watch out for, so it's not too bad. But, um, yeah, this boss is pretty simple. Ultimately, he's pretty simple. Almost everything he shoots at you, you can just face tank. Except one specific thing you can't face tank. I guess I would say two. So, he has this very long range, you know, that heat beam laser that he used in the previous zone. You want to make sure not to eat that. He's going to do it right now. You want to avoid that at all costs, because that just basically will one-shot you. You don't really control living on that at all, even if you're a priest. Okay, now, with the boss dead, you just keep going through and just getting your accessories, and that's that part, just easy peasy done. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and that was my first Maple Guide video, or honestly, one of my first uh, YouTube videos that I'm just going to be working on here. Tell me if you guys like my um, guides I plan on working on, if you like the format, maybe... I'm talking too much. Maybe just put some words on. Tell me what you guys think and I'll just adjust. Thanks for watching.